Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Hashtags. Now this is our ongoing series Garbage Collection and today's topic is Phases of Garbage Collection. So when we talk about phases, we basically mean the underlying algorithm. Now let's take a look at three basic algorithms. The first one is Mark Sweep followed by Mark Sweep Compact and Mark Copy. The main and the common phase among all three algorithms is marking phase and the reason is with the help of this phase garbage collector identifies the live object and dead objects. In other words once this phase is done garbage collector knows which objects needs to be collected. Now we have covered this in our previous tutorial so let's just quickly recap. Now, in this picture yellow circle is GC root which is our starting point and from here we start marking the live objects. Those objects which are not reachable are marked as dead and these are the ones which will get collected. So this is marking phase. Next part of mark sweep is sweep. Now assume this is our memory which contains live and dead objects. So after marking phase garbage collector knows what all objects are live and what all objects are dead. So here Green color represents the live objects whereas gray color represents the dead objects. After this there is a sweep phase. Now in sweep phase what GC does is it removes or claims the memory from the dead objects. So in this picture the blue color is the reclaimed memory. Now let's understand this further. So assume that the memory size is of 100 MB and all the live objects and the free memory is of this size. So for free memory let's assume we have 35 megabytes which consists of 20 megabytes and 15 megabytes. Now let's say there is a requirement wherein we want to allocate a space of 22 megabytes for an object. Now in this scenario we do have free memory of 35 megabytes but this memory is not consecutive which means that we are not able to assign 22 megabytes of memory for an object although we have free memory. So this will lead to out of memory error because the memory is fragmented. Now this problem is solved by mark sweep compact. So mark sweep remains the same the only difference comes for the compacting phase. Now here the fragmented memory goes into the compacting phase and after compacting phase the live objects will be sent to one side and the free memory will be other side. So this will give us the consecutive memory. Now in this case we have 35 megabytes of free memory which is consecutive. Now if again we want to allocate 22 megabytes for an object this time we would able to allocate that required memory. So this is compacting phase of mark sweep compact. So this is one step ahead of mark sweep. The next part of this algorithm is mark copy. So as we have seen marking phase remains the same. So this algorithm also applies similar approach in com compacting. The important difference is that the target of reallocation is a different memory region. Let's understand what this means. So let's say we have a memory which contains live and dead objects. And after marking phase, now we know that what all objects are live and what all objects are dead. Now there is another memory region. So since we don't have sweep, we, we go with the copy. And before copying, this algorithm requires another memory region. So for our purpose let's assume the first memory region is R1 and the second is R2. Now once copy phase is done what will happen is all the live objects gets copied from R1 to R2. And after this there comes the deletion phase which claims the entire memory which was there in R1. This includes the dead objects as well as the live objects. Now here the main advantage is we haven't compacted the memory. We just reclaim the entire region. So that's why this algorithm is um, 
more advantages over the other two. So that is it for this particular tutorial wherein we have seen all the algorithms and we have learned how these algorithms work. In the next tutorial, we will be learning about generational collectors. So please like, share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get our latest notifications. Thanks for watching.